And there's plenty more right and far-right sentiment, but this time in France. The French President's Socialist Party has taken a beating at local elections from Conservatives, and even the French Nationalists have had their biggest victory results since the 1990s. Let's get more now from RT's Union O'Neill, joining me now live from Paris. Hi there, Union. So what's led to this rise of, of, uh, of the right wing there, then? Well, it is indeed the blue third of the French trickler, which is shining the brightest today. Um, some very notable results. As you said, the opposition party, the UMP party, headed by former president Nicolas Sarkozy, they made massive gains. Um, the preliminary results showing that they earned some 46% of the vote in these local elections. Second are the, the party in power, the socialists, headed, of course, by President Francois Hollande. A very disappointing 40 percent or so for them as it stands and Front National coming up the rear in third place with uh, seven percent or so. It really is the story of voters getting disillusioned with the economy in particular the high unemployment rate. We are hearing um, figures of around 10 percent that's three million people of working age out of work as it stands under this socialist uh, government and the country's press are making sure that the president knows all about it today some of the headlines in the main newspapers such as upset slap in the face kick in the pants that is some of the headlines staring at francois Hollande today he is expected later in the day to go on television live on french tv and possibly an announced a cabinet reshuffle, maybe even going as far as to sacking his prime minister and replacing him with a popular interior minister. But that will take nothing away from the fact that his party, the Socialists, lost 150 towns across France uh, yesterday, uh, 11 of those going to National Front and the rest going to the UMP uh, party. Another uh, stat, possibly the most newsworthy, is only 52% of the populace came out to vote. That's the lowest ever turnout. Most of those were socialist voters, again, as I say, disillusioned, uh, it seems, with what is happening. Uh, just a note, a silver lining for the socialists. Uh, Paris will have its first ever uh, female mayor. She is a socialist and Hidalgo. So that is something for them to celebrate. Not a lot else at the moment. And I tell you what, the European elections in May are going to be very interesting indeed, Julia. Oh, she's Yunan O'Neill, live from Paris. Yunan, thank you very much indeed for that update. We appreciate it.